Hey guys, Dylan from Rubber Records coming at you with another video. From time to time, I will find something on eBay that will just be like a crazy steal of a deal. Uh, something that maybe somebody didn't realize what they had or uh, accidentally had an error or whatever. But um, through the years, it's happened a few times. And today I got one. It's a huge grail of mine for next to nothing. So, um, if you follow my YouTube channel, you've probably seen me talk about this album. This is called Jerusalem, 1972. This is uh, very Black Sabbath-esque, but it's a really great psych album. One of my absolute favorites. This is a reissue because the originals are impossible to find. They're like $500. So, I've always wanted one and just can never find one. And so, I have a, a filter on my phone that saves like certain albums that pop up and uh, a few nights ago, I was looking at eBay, and one popped up. This one. 1972 Jerusalem. That's all it said. It said Jerusalem 1972 LP. I think that's all it said. But I noticed it had this Dram uh, logo right here. And on the reissue, it doesn't have that. And so, I knew that the originals had that, and I also knew some bootlegs had that. So, I assumed it was a bootleg. It said it was near mint. So it was ten dollars buy it now. So I went ahead and bought it because I was like, even if it's a bootleg, um, it's worth ten dollars. I can trade it to somebody. Whatever. Uh, it's a great album. A reissue or a bootleg for ten dollars is fantastic. But I started looking at the pictures after I already bought it, and it's got the the labels right. So it's got the the brown label, and it's got the brown text underneath. It. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, a lot of the bootlegs and reissues have black text right there, and I, the only one that I know of. That has the brown text is the original. So then I was like, well, maybe it's just a bootleg that there's not a record of online. And then I start to notice that right here, some of the laminate on the front has a pe has peeled a little bit. So that's showing some signs of age. And I was thinking, shoot, did I just get a first UK pressing for ten dollars? Well, you'll have to see. So it came in the mail today. And uh, sure enough, I looked it over, checked the matrixes. Um, this is no doubt in my mind, 100%, a 1972 first pressing of Jerusalem, UK. Uh, this is probably a five to $600 record that I got for $10 on eBay. Like I said, it's near mint. So I could not believe that. I started thinking, this has happened to me a few times. So like I said, I thought, I thought I'd make a video. Uh, this is the first time I ever bought a record on eBay. This was a long time ago, maybe 2011 or 12. Um, and there was this on there. I was, I was looking for Led Zeppelin bootlegs. This was Led Zeppelin going to California. I had wanted this bootleg. And it had the artwork on the back. Uh, this is actually just a sheet. If you can't tell, this is in the shrink. It's got the sticker with it and everything. And it comes on green and blue vinyl. Beautiful. Um, so I saw this pop up on eBay, and the, the uh, listing was a buy it now, or a, not a buy it now, but an auction for 99 cents. And I messaged the, the guy, and I said, hey, um, would you take a buy it now? I really want this album, and I don't know if I'm going to be available when it comes down. And he said, well, I really almost didn't want to put it on there. I don't know if you read the description, but it's badly warped. And I'm like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah. And I said, well, um, I've had a little bit of luck in the past getting some warps out, so I'll take a chance on it. How much do you want? He said, five bucks. I said, okay, five bucks is fine. The cover looks great. I can do it for five bucks. Um, got it home. Uh, it was delivered. I pulled the records out, and I don't know what in the heck he was thinking. This is not warped at all. Um, I pulled it out, listened to it, put it on the table. It's completely straight, not warped, not even in the least little bit. The only thing I could imagine why he would have said it was warped is that there is a little bit on the end of side one that has like a woo woo sound from the tape that's about to end. Um, and so, and it's just very brief, and it's part of the recording. It's no, There's no flaw with the record. And I even messaged him and said, hey man, this is not warped. Did you send me the wrong copy? I don't, I don't want him to send him me his personal copy if you know it was warped and he's like that's the only copy i had i'm pretty sure it's warped you might want to check it again i'm like okay check it again wasn't warped i've listened to this thing a thousand times i don't know what he was thinking but this record is is uh near mint and ones in, in this condition they go for about 300 bucks so that was a that was a killer deal 
Uh, the next one's this one here. This is uh, Velvet Underground and Nico. Uh, I'm always looking for an upgrade copy of this. Uh, so I had previously a peeled version. I found it in some guy's garage for like five bucks. And uh, I've always wanted one that was unpeeled. And just it's really been hard for me to find one. Whatever. This one popped up on eBay, and it said that this is a 1978 reissue with a printed banana on the front. That's what it said on the description. I messaged them and said, is the pictures of the actual item, or did you pull this from some website or something? It's not, and they said, this is the actual pictures of the actual item. If you look right here, there's a break in the peel, and then right here, you can see a little bit of pink uh, just a tiny bit of pink where the banana is underneath. And it's got the blue label. So I said, you know, I'm going to take a chance on this. Let's buy it now for $15. So I bought it and got it. And it's in great shape. It's killer copy. Unpeeled. Vinyl's excellent. And got it for 15 bucks. So these usually go in this condition for about $250. Um, and it's, it's not... It's, it's airbrush cover. It's not an Emerson cover. One day I'll have like a mint... Emerson cover with the mono torso, all that stuff. But I just have to get upgrade copies. I've had probably 10 or 15 copies of that. Uh, but anyways, for 15 bucks, that's a killer find. Uh, the next one, this was probably four or five years ago. My, my wife had gone in the doctor's office and I pulled my phone out and I was looking on eBay. This is Dragonfly 1968. This is a killer blues rock psych album. Uh, and at that time, I was not aware of any reissues. I don't know if any existed, but they reissued this a couple years ago or maybe last year for Record Store Day. This is on Megaphone Records. It's a dynamite, grail psych record. It's just incredibly hard to find. Um, and one popped up on eBay for $15. Buy it now. I didn't look at the condition. I didn't ask questions. I just bought it. And I got it home. And it's in probably VG Plus shape the vinyl is. The cover's probably VG, but for 15 bucks. I was completely stoked. I mean, this is a, like I said, probably a $300 record. So, um, 15 bucks blew my mind. This one might be the best one. I don't know. Uh, about six, well, no, about a year ago. I uh, was waiting on my wife. She'd gone into the grocery store. So, thanks for going into stores, Emily, if you're watching this, because I've gotten a lot of grills for nothing. Um, <laughs> this popped up on eBay. It's a white label promo copy of Led Zeppelin 1. Um, I did not care what the condition was because it was a promo and it was $18. Buy it now. Uh, pulled the trigger, bought it, got it in the mail, and it is near mint. Um, I have had some trouble deciding what it's worth. I've talked to a few different people uh, and looked at a bunch of sold listings. And uh, a guy here locally, I, I'm, I'm making a deal with him next week for $600. So. Pretty good turnaround on eighteen dollars. Um, this is one Stooges Hello. Stooges Fun House. Uh, had an original of this, sold on my records a few years ago. Had been looking for another one. It had been kind of hard for me to find one. I was on eBay and uh, this popped up one day for eight dollars. And I bought it, got it, and it's a near mint. Uh, the the cover's probably VG plus maybe maybe excellent but the vinyl's near mint first pressing uh, just a beautiful copy of Funhouse Stooges that was a, a steal of deal uh, I told this story a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago this uh, Towns Van Zant for the sake of the song popped up on eBay and it said it was in good condition the record and the vinyl I mean the cover and the vinyl was good good condition just good. And as we all know, in the record grading world, good means horrible. And so, um, but I looked at it and the cover didn't have any ring wear. They usually have some ring wear. Um, it was this, had sharp corners, looks good. It was a promo copy, it was a mono promo copy. And I was on Poppy, so I said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll bid on it. And I bid $20 on it and just forgot about it. Well, it came down and it sold to me for $18.50. On the Poppy label, I get it home, take it out. And it is near mint. I guess somebody just didn't know what they were doing. And so, this is probably a $100 record. Got it for $18.50. Um, and the last one I was going to show is this, the Bob Smith The Visit. Matt Sands, DJ Mellow Yellow, showed this a few years ago. I gave it a listen online. 
I was very impressed. It's a killer album. And he said he had gotten a killer deal on it somewhere at a record show, I think. And uh, I can't remember how much he said he paid, but it was insane. Because these are about $200. I think he, he had paid like 20 bucks or something. And uh, I had just saved a filter of it on my phone. And about a year ago, this popped up on eBay. Buy it now for 20 bucks. Now, this, shot, this is not in the best shape. Um, it's got some ring wear, but the, but the records play great. And like I said, it's a $200 record. I got it for 20 bucks. Really stoked to get that one. So I just thought I'd share with you guys some steals of deals. Uh, maybe you guys can find some or have already. Uh, I'm sure you have. Everyone has that story. But uh, I've got some other, like, you know, dollar finds that I've been from thrift stores and uh, yard sales and stuff that I'll, I'll probably do a video on, like, my best dollar finds. But those are my best eBay finds ever for the best prices. So I'm sure you guys have some good eBay stories. If you do, share them in the comments below. If you like this video and you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. The button's down there somewhere. And uh, you can follow us on social media and see all the records that we're picking up. Our Facebook and Instagram links are in the profile. And if you'd like to buy a hat, a shirt, or a sticker, the link to our store is on there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.